All right, in this video, I'm going to optimize our code a little bit and uh, rearrange things a tiny bit. And I also noticed one little thing of our script when I was uh, extensively testing it yesterday. Okay, so if we select some units and when we start the drag, this is meant to be when these units are deselected because we, we haven't got the shift key down. We just want to start a new drag. But instead of that, they're removed at the end of the script instead. And we don't want that. That can cause some things we don't want to happen. So relatively simple thing to do we can just go to the bottom of our script and instead of check checking if the shift keys are down here we need to check if they're down when we first started dragging the mouse so replace here that's all we need to do guys <laughs> easy fix if the shift keys not down deselect everything when we first start the drag okay so again yep the clicking's working and we start a new drag that's absolutely fine. If we hold the shift key down, nothing's deselected. Okay, guys, so just a little thing I noticed when I was testing this out. Everything else works pretty fine, okay? The second thing I want to do is uh, we don't need to declare the vector 30 on awake. Doesn't, that's not really important at all. And, uh, okay, we don't want this debug log stuff. I'm just going to tidy up the script a little bit. We don't need to say time left before declare drag is zero because it resets itself when we first put the mouse button down. So delete this, okay, and uh, going down. So we're here, I've replaced this already actually. So this was um, hit.collider.transform.find.child selected. So this is what it was. So if you remember when we first started coding our click code, our mouse click, we checked if a uh, if the hit point was hitting a unit by seeing if it has the selected game object in there. So if I go back to Unity, each unit has a selected game object and that is how we determined if it was a unit or not. But you know, if we had a game object that was very complicated and had a lot of children in it and it had uh, if it had two objects that were selected or something, um I don't know, it could be unpredictable. Um, this could take a bit of overhead in Unity. So instead of checking if the game object selected exists inside the unit, we can just say, well, we can just check if this um, object has a component called unit. So get component, unit. Okay, so this is a lot simpler. So does this uh, game object have a unit script attached to it? If it does, we know it's a unit, right? And it's a lot, um, it's a lot more reliable than seeing if it's got the selected game object in it so I've replaced that as well okay so going down don't need this um, self-explanatory really end of the ray cast draw the ray GUI is all good and everything's pretty good actually so okay what I want to do in this video is move some of these functions to another script so um, as your libraries get more and more um, complicated let's say as they get more advanced you might want loads of these helper functions and these are very generic functions float to boolean unsigned in um, you know is a value unsigned and let's be honest these don't belong in a mouse script they belong in a, a library somewhere okay so I'm just gonna make a new script here create C sharp and I'm gonna call it common because I'm gonna store these with common methods we might want to use in all of our scripts not just the mouse script okay and I'm going to replace this down here so to do this guys we just copy and paste the function into our new script and uh, we find the function in our script and we just replace it with common the name of the script period and then the name so replace all simple as that okay now we don't need that function in our mouse script similar to the unsigned move it into our common okay save it out let's find unsigned replace it with uh, common period unsigned okay there's one more thing I want to do here and that is the shift keys down method because we might want to use that in all of our scripts as well so same thing just copy and paste it are the shift keys being held down shift keys down so common shift keys down okay simple as that alright guys so just tidy things up a bit. Now we can use these in other scripts as well. And we can put this script on our world script. So we can now use them. Okay, so I just want to. Okay, I help a functions. Um, arguably, we could use these common functions even more. 
instead of asking is the unit already in the current status units and where's the other one unit already in the dragged units these these two methods are doing the same thing they're checking if a game object is in an array list we could make a function for that as well so all I need to do now is um, make a region so we can say region class variables and then we can end the region and now we can minimize this okay update function we can minimize that anyway we can minimize the late update on GUI and the help functions okay and that is our script so very simple to do um, in the next video we'll concentrate on the units and other things in our script alright guys so thanks a lot see you in the next video